Hey, this is Rebecca and Sharon here again to talk about things at the Petty Museum. <laughs> so one thing you're going to see when you um, come in the, mu the museum, there's several parts to the museum, but we call one side of the museum the red floor. And on the red floor, we have, um, a, we have Daddy's last ride car. That's what we call it, the one that he raced at Atlanta. And beside of it, you're going to see a couple of uniforms and a couple of helmets. So just a little information about um, the 92 year. I know we've talked about it and you're going to hear a lot more about it this year, how special it was to daddy, to the team, to and us. What an emotional, special time that was for our family that we went through. But I thought I'd give you some inside information. Each week that daddy went to a race, a track, and he wore a different helmet and he wore a different uniform. And you'll see on the uniforms, you'll know, if you ever see a 1992, you'll see it's embroidered up here exactly what race that he wore this uniform. So, and inside, it's written in, inside the helmets. Just to let you know that after the season was over, he decided to gift them each uniform, each special uniform, to family members and different organizations and different people that had been a part of his life in his career in his career the one that you're gonna see there's a couple of uniforms over here um, in the museum we have a Daytona uniform display we also have the last uniform that he ever wore and this helmet which is this one this one and this uniform and this this helmet and this uniform were gifted to my mom to our mom and she gifted them to the Petty Museum. So they will always be here at the museum and they will always be on display. Now, for the four children, he let us pick a track that we liked, that was maybe one of our favorite if we had memories there or something special. And he let us choose which, um, which track that we wanted to get that uniform. And before he get, gave any to anyone else, he gave the last one to mom and he let us choose. So, three guesses where Kyle, Kyle Petty got his, but Rockingham. So Kyle was gifted the, um, the uniform and the helmet from Rockingham, Daddy's last Rockingham. I chose Martinsville. Just cause I just, growing up, I just always liked it. We, we didn't have to leave at the crack of dawn. We were back home before night fall. It was, it was just a good day, kind of a fun day trip. It was because it was close and it was always a good race. You could sit in the infield. You could- We sit on top of the car. Yeah, sit on top of the car in the infield. Um, and you just, you know, could watch the race. And it always, you know, went by pretty quick. It was 500 laps, but I mean, it's a short track and then, it, it was always exciting. And so I, I chose Martinsville. We have a sister that's in between us and she actually lives in Richmond, Virginia. And so she chose Richmond. And uh, so she has that in, in, that was gifted to her. And then I got Watkins Glen, but I think that Kyle won Watkins Glen that year. Yeah, he did. I think that Kyle won Watkins Glen, and that's why I took it because Kyle had chose Rockingham, because Rockingham actually Rockingham and Dover were the tracks that he won the best at, right? Or that he raced the best at, but he had actually won Watkins Glen that year. So I wanted to keep the uniform from a race that a family member had won in that year. But I, I want y'all to look at this helmet. Like, this is what stabilized his head. This is before Hans. Yeah, yeah. So his neck was not. I mean, think about it. Like his neck was not protected. He actually broke his neck yeah. and. And I was a kid. Yeah. But this is what um, stabilized his head. And then here is the hose. I mean, look how different this is from what the guys race today. Right. And then what's really cool about this one is we just found his his earbuds are still in here. His earbuds from that race. From that so, race. Yeah. So, so maybe, that stabilized. Maybe they got stayed and left in You know, when, they, when he got in, they had to hook it so his head, you know, wouldn't go from side or to side. Or if he wrecked then. so it didn't. Yeah. So it's crazy how things have changed. But... Just, just to let you know that every, every helmet, like I, like we said, he had a special helmet at every track. Now drivers do it all the time. You have to remember, when Daddy started his career, there they had no, one helmet and the, no sponsor on the yeah, uniform. And they, but they had one helmet and one suit the entire season. year. And when the year was over, they usually would give the uniform to somebody that was coming in that needed a driving uniform. I mean, basically it was worn out because it had to be qualifying practice race and whatever every week 
And there were more races. So basically, when my daddy started racing, there was no uniform. Right. There was just a helmet and a take your head. And then in 1969, DuPont came out with flame resistant fabric. Yes. And so our grandmother made the pretty much the very first racing uniform. Which was a seamstress. She and made, it's on display at the Petty Museum yes, today if you want to come see yes, it. Yes, it is. And it is. But um, And then after that uniform, he actually went into a two-piece. He was more comfortable in two-piece. So my grandmother, again, made those uniforms for him. And embroidered his name. And on. there would be pants and then, you know, along like almost looked like a jacket in there. That's actually what he was wearing on the 200th win. But then by 92, he had gone back to the full piece and, and all that. And so you can see these are all really special. And we have, like I said, we have his uh, Daytona went on display and the very last one that he wrote, that he wore on the last day in Atlanta with a helmet on display. We knew that Daddy was coming to an end at his career. And it was very emotional. It, and and he pulled us in it together at his house, and he just said, "This is going to be my last year, and I just want you to know before it all gets out there, because it'll just be crazy with the media, and they're already speculating it." But he went to each one of us individually and said, "I just want you to know." And, and we I had think, a press release here in that January. Yeah, and then yeah, the and year. then before the season, and that's when he, you know, had a group, and they called it the fan appreciation, and they went to work on all that. It was a very emotional year, and I think that we had seen drivers in the past that were hurt or or were killed in cars, and we wanted Daddy to be able to say. Even though he told us every week, I'm loving what I'm doing. If it's the last time I get in a car and I never get out of it, you know I was happy. And that would give us peace of mind for sure. But at the same time, we all wanted him to walk away and say. And enjoy grandkids and we, be able to do but stuff But we wanted us. him to say, I'm choosing to end my career here and, and this is going to be the last time I'm in a car. And I think all year it was like, oh, let's please just get through this race. Let's please be safe. And, you know, um, I think that's the way we felt about it. Now, the de that weekend was a whirlwind. It, it was. There was so much media that really you didn't even have time to think about your emotions or anything because Daddy was needed every second of every day. And, I mean, I, I think... He, by the time he got to that part, I think he was like, okay, I'm glad this is yeah, it. I'm glad I'm on You this know, day. I'm just glad this is it. But I think just the relief of the end of the race, and it's like, he got to do it. He got to get out of that car and say, and see, it's still emotional today. What a career. I loved every minute, but I'm going to walk away. And yeah. And me, was, me and Sharon and Colin and Lisa were all. Um, the Grand Marshals. And so right. we stood out on the grid with right. Kyle, and we said, "We said, Daddy, start your yeah. engine." And um, anyway, but that for, for our mother, I, I like it was just a relief, you know. I mean, she still has a, a son out there to worry about, right. but at least she knows that she's going to live out the rest of her life without having to take care of him. Right. And he's going to be there, and they can right. do fun things together, like you know, like they ended and up. And they doing. did, and they did. They traveled, and they were able to do some things that. They had not gotten to do all the years that he was because racing. He because was racing every week, and he was racing when they got married, and so it was all that they had ever known. But it was very, very emotional. It was. It still is. But it was like, oh, it's it's over, and now we can start another chapter, or Daddy can start another chapter in his life, and um, it has been wonderful.